David Cicilline, a Democratic congressman from Rhode Island. He sits on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman Cicilline, thanks for being here with us. My pleasure. So you heard one of, you. one of your colleagues at the top of our show talked about, uh, we, we played the video, talked about tougher sanctions needed against Russia than what has already been put in place. Talk to me about where you stand on that and what conversations you've had with Democrats uh, in the House about these sanctions. Look, this, uh, the steps that the president took are an important uh, first step, uh, but we have to make it very clear to the Russians and anyone else that interfering with American elections is something we will not tolerate. And so there are, there are actions the president took, uh, there are actions that Congress must take uh, to make it very clear that we will not permit this and that we will hold the individuals and organizations accountable. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is a bipartisan commission to do a full analysis of how this happened and take steps to preventing it from ever happening again. And we need to impose sanctions on the individuals and entities responsible for that, ratchet up these sanctions, particularly economic sanctions. Uh, but the president's okay. action was an important first step. But this is something we have to take very seriously. It's not a Republican or a Democratic issue. It's about preserving our democracy and making sure foreign governments do not interfere with our elections. You know, before the Electoral College vote earlier this month, Congressman, you were pretty vocal about how strongly you felt about this subject. You call this, you're calling this now an important step by President Obama, but are you disappointed that he didn't go further? Is the expulsion of a few dozen Russian diplomats enough? No, this, again, this is the first step and an important one. The executive branch has certain authorities. The president exercised those upon receipt of the report from the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI. This is an important first step. There is more work to be done that Congress has a responsibility to undertake, uh, and we should do that. But uh, we have got to make it very clear to the Russians and to any other country that might contemplate this that we will take all necessary steps to preserve the integrity of our democracy, the, the very kind of fun Functioning of our government is at stake in this kind of a matter, and so we have to make it very clear that we will not permit the kind of hacking that occurred here in an effort to influence the outcome of American presidents to occur in this country, period. The reaction from President-elect Trump's team has been one of essentially that President Obama is playing politics. You've heard this charge made publicly and privately, frankly, that President Obama is trying to box in Donald Trump. So why didn't the president announce these sanctions before the election when he wouldn't have opened himself up to that charge necessarily? Well, I think he would have opened himself up to that charge whenever he imposed them. Can you imagine what would have happened as so the president no imposed these sanctions he would have been before accused of the election? Politics? Yeah, I mean, look, I think what he wanted to do was be thorough, be very careful and conscientious, make sure that this review was completed, and he did it as soon as that review uh, was completed, yes, by the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI. We want him to be thorough, but we want him to obviously act quickly, which he did. But look, this, this is an important issue, and I think in many ways will be the first real test of the Trump administration. Is President Trump going to stand with the American people and make sure that those who attempted to interfere with our presidential election are held accountable? and this is prevented from happening, or is he going to stand with Vladimir Putin? And so I think this is going to be an important test, and I think the sanctions that the president put in place, and I hope what will follow from Congress, additional sanctions, will be protected by the incoming president, because he will recognize that the okay, American so people want to have confidence that our, that our elections are secure, mm -hmm. and the integrity of our process is protected. So, Congressman, talk about that test. If Donald Trump comes in January 20th and reverses these sanctions, what do congressional Democrats do? Frankly, what can you do in a chamber controlled by Paul Ryan? Well, I, I don't think he will do that. Look, I don't think he's going to be want to be, want to be responsible for allowing 35 Russian agents, Russian spies to come back into the United States and undermine the national security interests of America. So I don't think the president will do that. Uh, we will work hard to make sure that he doesn't, and I think the American people won't allow that. But Congress has a responsibility here, too, to hold... Uh, hearings to have a bipartisan commission like the 9-11 commission mm -hmm. to really get at how do we prevent this happening in the future and to be sure that we're imposing additional punishment on the Russians for the activities that they've engaged in. So everyone has a responsibility here. Uh, I have, I, I'm hopeful that a new president will understand that when he finally takes the time to have these briefings and, and learn the facts. He hasn't done that yet, which is disturbing. Uh, he says he'll do it next week, but let's hope when he finally learns all the facts that he will understand that he has a responsibility to protect American democracy and to hold the Russians accountable. Congressman, before I let you go here, one of your Republican colleagues was on this program yesterday, 24 hours ago, Trent Franks from Arizona, as you know, and he said this, if Russia succeeded in giving the American people information that was accurate, then they merely did what the media should have done.
It was a comment that raised a lot of eyebrows, and I want to know if you agree with Congressman Franks. I, I think it's an outrageous statement that you would be celebrating the in interference by a foreign government in our elections. Look, we can have hotly contested elections, spirited campaigns, but it should never be the case that we are inviting or condoning foreign government's interference into our elections, particularly an adversary, a country that's led by a brutal dictator, a thug that invaded a sovereign country and has engaged in actions against political opponents, journalists. I think that is a disgraceful statement that Trent Franks made. Democratic Congressman David Cicilline of Rhode Island, thank you very much for being with us here this hour. We appreciate it.